Hey everyone, welcome back to Asobe Food. Cabbage rolls, classic meat and rice stuffed cabbage leaves. They're a complete meal. And today we're taking a look at lamb chi rolls. That's lamb and kimchi stuffed cabbage leaves. These bundles of love are packed with big, bold flavors. Be sure to check out asobefood.com with all the ingredients in the full written recipe. Let's get started. Add ground lamb to a large mixing bowl. Toss in some rice, eggs, kimchi, green onions, flat leaf parsley, garlic, kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, and kochaburu, Korean chili flakes. Mix to fully combine, cover, and chill in the refrigerator until needed. Cut out the core of a head of cabbage using a paring knife. This will allow the leaves to release. Bring a half full pot of water to the boil and drop in the cabbage. Using tongs, remove the individual cabbage leaves as they separate about every minute. Divide the lamb stuffing evenly and form into small lobes. Shave the rib at the base of the leaf using a paring knife so that it rolls evenly. Wrap each loaf in a large cabbage leaf, tucking in the sides. Be sure not to roll tightly as they will expand once cooked. Line the bottom of a Dutch oven or a large pot with a few cabbage leaves and a half of a sliced onion. Place the rolls in and season with kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. Mix together some cochujang and tomato puree and pour over the rolls. Continue to layer the rolls, topping them with the remaining tomato sauce, onion slices, and cabbage leaves. Pour in about two quarts of chicken or vegetable stock until the liquid level reaches just above the rolls. Cover with a heavy lid and place into a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for an hour and 45 minutes or until fork tender. Once done, remove from the oven and let sit for 30 minutes covered to allow the cabbage to continue to soften. So there you have it folks, lamb chi rolls. That kimchi gives an incredible boost of flavor to already delicious lamb. It's a beautiful, beautiful pairing. And a little bit of prep here goes a long, long way. I made 14 rolls, but this recipe can easily be divided in two to suit your needs. Look, that does it for me. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if you did, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to come back next time to Asobe Food where you get what you need to succeed in the kitchen. I'm your host, Jamie. I love you. I'm gonna dig in. I'll catch you next time. Mm. This stuff melts in your mouth. The rice is perfectly cooked. The lamb is perfumed into it. The cabbage is super soft. A little bit of spice, everything nice. I'll see y'all next time.